Hello Sagittarius, it's welcome to Blunt Sagittarium. My name is Robin and Sag, today we are going to do a general reading. So we're just going to find out what's going on, what messages you need to receive today, what's taking place, what you can expect. Let's talk about you Sag and see what's going down. So spirit guides, talk to us. What is happening with the Sagittarius Collective? What messages do the Sagis need to receive today? What are we talking about? And Sag, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box. Whatever this card is, I saw this in the pre-shuffle. That's what I thought. <laughs> but I couldn't see it because I could just see the water. Treasure Island, but I knew it was good because I could feel it. So, this is good. This turtle represents obstacles. That means you've overcome some obstacles here and some challenges and you're about to get exactly what it is you want. Um, let's look at it. Let those cards behind. I'm not going to take them, but we're going to look at them. The Empress, the Star, oh, and Judgment in Reverse, Sagittarius. Um, because you're the motherfucking empress here. You've done the work, internal, external. You've taken care of business. You're a master manifester. You've been really honest with yourself. You've looked at yourself. You've evaluated yourself. You're clearly a spiritual sage. You've done the work. And now you're getting rewarded if you want to be the star. I mean, if you're looking for that type of thing, fame, fortune, that kind of thing's on the horizon. But if that fortune for everyone is different. Some people just want a nice van to live in by the river. Some people just want a cottage by the lake. Some people want a mansion. Some people want a Ferrari. Whatever that is for you. That's what's coming in. It's because you worked for it. And that's the key. <laughs> if you want those things, then you just got to work for them. Um, so let's see what's going on. What is this? Talk to us about Sagittarius spirit guides. I think that's the devil. It is the devil. Okay. So we got the devil. We have the hermit. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. I feel like the devil's temptation here. There's something tempting you. We'll find out. We'll find out. Queen of Swords. Hm. Three of Wands. You're about to get everything you've been waiting for. It wants you too. I also, the thing I like about, ooh, the Page of Pentacles, the, the Ace of Swords. The thing I like about this Three of Wands is it's like, it's because you've taken the steps to do this, right? You aren't one of those people just sitting in your living room saying, oh, I want this, but not actually taking the steps to go and get it. But you have. <laughs> and that is a Sagi trait. Sagis will just go, we're go-getters. Um, and the star, the star, dream come true, wish fulfillment, everything you want. And the chariot, dream, <laughs> this is a really good reading. These are the fun readings as a tarot reader to get to do. So let's talk about you. We start with the devil though. So what is this devil? What is this toxicity? What is this? Um, I feel like it's a temptation. I, I, I know what I feel, but let's, wow. Judgment. I feel like you are judging yourself really harshly. Uh, maybe you're judging others. Maybe you're judging yourself. I just get this energy of, it's this temptation to, to judge yourself. Wow. To not believe you deserve something here, Sag. So remember that to stay focused and stay positive at that five of pentacles in reverse, you do deserve it. And there's a lot of people in, especially in the spiritual community that think that, um, Money is the devil. Money is Satan. Money isn't something that we should have. But like Manly P. Hall teaches, we all deserve everything in moderation. We all deserve to live in comfort. We all deserve to have our treats, the things that we want. Um, we shouldn't be suffering and going without things simply because we believe we don't deserve it. Don't believe that. You're just limiting yourself and setting yourself up for a cycle of negativity. You do deserve what you want um, as long as what you want is in moderation. <laughs> That's what Manly P. Hall teaches, right? So that's what I use when I talk about our manifesting. But this is about not believing you deserve this and you or not believing it can happen. And remember, you manifest what you believe. So absolutely know that you can. Look in the mirror and know what your strengths and weaknesses are and what your strengths are. Go forward with those, baby, and take, take the world by storm here because you have a lot of major arcanas. You have a lot of positive energy. Um... And I feel like you're changing that because you're starting to realize like this is the past energy, right? So you're realizing that doesn't serve you to sit there and limit yourself, like sit there and say, oh, you know, I want to make an album, but I only want to sell 500 copies. Well, why? Why do you only want to sell 500 copies? That is not the goal. You don't want to limit yourself. Maybe you want to start there. That's your stepping stone. You want to start by selling 500 copies, but that is not your ultimate goal or manifestation because that's not going to give you what you want. Um, so don't limit yourself in any way. I always use that example because it's the easiest, but, um, man, be honest with what you want here. Don't limit yourself, Sag. I'm going to say, I mean, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that to yourself because you do deserve it. You 100% do. And you're realizing that here. And that's, what's made things happen for you. You've done your introspection. You've done your realization. You've done your work. 
you realize, wait a minute, I don't have to go without, you know, a kitchen table if I don't want to. If I want to spend 500 bucks, I'm going to do that and buy a damn kitchen table so I can eat my food at the table and not on the couch, you know? Whatever that is, you shouldn't be, um, you should be comfortable and you should know what you want. You should go after it. Um, so with this Queen of Swords here, it's telling me that you're not seeing something because... I mean, she's blind. <laughs> she's got that thing over her eyes and she's got her hands out and her feelers. So she's she's doing something blind without seeing what where it's going or... Yeah, she's... Oh, I love it. Sagittarius, I got goosebumps. I love it. You're following your heart. So you don't have all the answers. You might not know exactly where this is going to lead, but you're not limiting yourself. You're letting the universe guide you and you're pushing yourself forward. You're determined to get success. And this chariot is success over external obstacles and this queen of swords is its success over these external obstacles so we can't always control everything around us right but we're going to be determined to make this successful and you are and there's a lot of talk there's a lot of forward movement there's a lot of connections coming through because you're following your heart so with the three of wands you're about to get what you want and there it is <laughs> the page of pentacles so what is this what is this offer what is this page of pentacles what do you want to say about that because it's excellent it's followed up with the ace of swords and the star this and it's also clarified by the ace of swords and the seven and the world in reverse and the hmm, i feel like it's what's under that the two of cups in reverse it's about and the nine of cups so it's about being truthful with yourself so with this world in reverse and that two of cups in reverse there's a little bit of an imbalance i feel like it's within the hierophant there and the seven of pentacles so it's again it's that imbalance within yourself knowing what you deserve knowing what you want limiting yourself and being really honest this is all about this these ace of swords are truths epiphanies honesty um success <laughs> but with that seven of swords mixed in it's about being honest with yourself what do you want everyone can this world can tell you what you want but what do you want because <laughs> sometimes we get what we think we want we don't really want it um that's actually the point of the six of wands but that's not the point of this reading the point is what is it that you want? Because that's what you're going to get. It's not what everybody else wants. And I feel like you've been honest with yourself. You've been truthful with yourself. You've been really doing self-analysis here, Sag. And that's great. And the Page of Swords in reverse with the Magician in reverse, the Empress in reverse. And you have had disappointments, but that's okay. Because you're the chariot. You're determined. And to, you're, wow. Yeah. So let's find out what this star is. Or no, actually, I want to... Page of Swords in reverse. Any blocks are... <laughs> it's like it's like the universe has removed these blocks so if if you were like on steeplechase those little mountains in steeplechase were removed in your lane like it's like the universe has cleared this lane it's like vroom vroom go forward things are gonna fly they're gonna start to move really fast for you which with with whatever this is that you really have been working on and judgment <gasps> with the ten of pentacles wow this is life changing this is life changing wealth so this will change your life. It's like getting the contract like that puts your business on the map or it's getting the being the singer, getting the contract. If you're, I don't know, if you're a massage therapist, all of a sudden your clientele is going up, you're booked for the next six months, right? This is stability. This is life-changing stability for you, Sag. And you're getting exactly because you worked hard. And the, yeah, and the, the devil again, you overcame that. I think it's beautiful. What do you want to say about the star here? Death and rebirth in reverse, six of wands in reverse, <laughs> and the chariot. Because you've let go of old limiting beliefs. You've let go of old stories. That's what this is. You've let go of ideas of what other people want, what you think you want, who you think you are, and you're being true to yourself. And again, those external forces, those external influences, they ain't got shit on you. Um, and that's a really hard thing in life to do. Not everybody can do that, Sag. So um, this chariot in reverse twice. And again, that's like major success. So um, success is knocking at your door, baby. Okay, so wands in reverse after the hermit. And it, it, it took some disappointments. Like, you know, you only fail when you stop trying. You're always going to have those hiccups. Like when we learn to walk, right? The first time we fall and scrape our knees, we don't just stop walking. We just get back up and continue to walk. <laughs> and that's what you've done here. Um, and you've let go of those limiting beliefs, which I think is really key and really important. And um, you're just going with the flow. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Sorry. So... <laughs> That wasn't even a word. The hanged man in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse is what I saw. So that is just looking at things from a different perspective. That's being vulnerable to yourself and being real with who you are and what you want. And that's what it is also about the star. It's about, um, and that's what's, you know, 
if you're in the limelight or if you want to be a singer or you're going down that road or if you're just trying to draw in clients that's what's going to draw people to you right people can um well especially sajus can fake sense can sense fake people from a mile away right so um that's what i have let's get a few oracle messages we shall find out where you're going to be in a cup in a month but this is looking amazing you're about to get everything that you want you've overcome your temptation it's it's a beautiful reading i i love this reading um okay so what does sag need to surrender to here obsessive thinking mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're obsessing about a person or a situation turning the dilemma to spirit doing so will help bring clarity and solve the problem queen of swords baby we may not have all the answers but we got to trust that the universe is guiding us because we're following our heart and your energy oracle message here sag but overthinking i think is something that every human does too much most of us are overthinkers <laughs> energy oracle message what do you want to say that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So blossoming abundance. Let's get your message. So when one comes out of this deck, it's in the book. So hold on a second, because I don't know if this reader can get it better. <laughs> this is an amazing reading. So this card shows a beautiful garden in the springtime with coins and flowers blossoming all around. They hang like fruit in the tree. This card signals an increase in wealth in a dramatic and unexpected way. That's right. That's right. So be, this is a life changing well, this, and, and again, that's different for everybody, right? It doesn't mean you're going to be a billionaire. It's different for everybody. So be aware that the seeds you sow of your wealth and prosperity are like how the garden works the ground, and you're starting to see the blossoming results take hold. This indicates the universe is blessing you <laughs> and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell those motherfucking flowers. It doesn't say that I added the motherfucking and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy because you have amazing things coming and it's because... You didn't give up. I want to grab your soul card and then we're going to get your potential outcome. We'll see how great this is going in a month or if there's any hiccups we need to know about, but there shouldn't be. Well, there better not be. Let's find it. What is the soul card here? Study. Reading, research, and education help gain confidence and clarity about your career. You're always improving yourself and mastering your skill and your craft, right? It's a life journey. So if you think you're the master of your craft, so read that card <laughs> there's always something that we can improve on always it never ends it never ends so let's get your potential outcome so when i say potential there's always free will and when i say outcome um where are you in a month like i'm picturing you know what i'm picturing in my head sag there's this picture of um stevie wonder it might not be stevie wonder i think it's stevie wonder and michael jackson and michael jackson is just watching him i don't think it was stevie wonder it was Jimi hendrix i don't know it was some famous guy from the 70s <laughs> and michael jackson was watching him you know he was learning so even though he was super successful and super famous he was learning from someone different so that's what i'm seeing in my head i wanted to point that out i can't remember who that picture was but that's something driving me crazy but for some reason i feel like it was stevie wonder i do feel like it was stevie wonder okay well let's get your potential outcome When I say potential, there's always free will. <laughs> when I say outcome, it's where you are in a month. I don't know if I explained that or not. So we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. What else we got for Sag here? We have the Page of Cups in reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And on the bottom, ooh, the King of Cups in reverse and the Magician. Okay. So you've walked away from unloyal people i don't know who like let's say um i'm just gonna use a singer example you signed your first singing contract but that company was trying to rip you off so you block that contract and you move to the next option um it's that kind of thing but you have manifested exactly what you want so you've walked away from something that wasn't quite right for you so let's say you know um you had three job offers you took the first job offer and um you know they're trying to chintz you on your on your wage well fine I'll block you and I'll, I'll contact the next company here and make sure I'm getting paid when I'm worth. So um, you stood up for yourself here. You did what was best for yourself because you know your value. So somebody wasn't quite loyal in that. Um, and that happens too. Once you get to that, once you get to success and you get to that point, you're going to kind of have to watch out who you're, who's in your corner and who's not, especially if you're trying to be a singer and you're in that industry, right? Because not everybody has your back. Not everybody had your back here, but that's okay because <laughs> your intuition guided you and told you. So the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Pentacles is, is getting everything that you want. This is your, this is basically like if you want a pool in Miami and the beautiful ocean is what you're overlooking, that's what you got. 
um, and you're enjoying it, but you're learning who is and who is not your friends, <laughs> who is and who is not there for you. Um, those are lessons that you learn. So the four swords in reverse says you're doing what's best for you. The magician says this is going great. You have all the talents. You have all the skills to make this happen, to continue manifesting this. You got a lot on your plate, though. And I do believe it's just determining who is and isn't your friend here, especially like like you became famous all of a sudden. And well, some of those people around you probably I just want to be around you because of your like, you know, the famous person at the moment. They're not loyal to you, you know, um, I'm sure a lot of those celebs know about that. So that's what that energy is. You're getting what you want. And there are people who just kind of want a piece of it and you're learning who they are. But you're in a good spot. So we don't want to focus on those mofos. We want to focus on you because <laughs> look at all this yellow. That is uh, being true to yourself. That's being luxurious. That's happy. That's you truly being happy on the inside and out because, you know, you're making this happen and, you know, you got the juice and, you know, um, and you know you got the golden opportunity so you're going to take advantage of it you got your 15 minutes of fame you're going to draw that 15 minutes into 15 years you know what i'm saying you're not going to be that person that disappears tomorrow and didn't take advantage of their 15 minutes of fame um is there anything else you want to say to sag before we close it off yeah look at that oh my gosh you got the golden ticket <laughs> so this is really great you're and the four pentacles so and temperance um so don't indulge too much, especially if you just like got a lot of money or something. This is just a message of be patient with your money. Don't spend it all. Um, you know, budget your money and be careful. Like if you win the lottery and you got 15 million, you know, you don't want to spend 15 million in six months and be like, shit, I got nothing left. So it's just a message to be cautious with your spending there and be balanced with that aspect, especially if this is a huge increase in money that you're not used to. Um, talk to your financial advisor, <laughs> have them advise you, go to the bank, get yourself a financial advisor, have them tell you how to handle that money aspect of things. If you have any questions there, because you are feeling fly. Like I got bumps head to toe. I'm, I'm filled with goosebumps, Sag. So this is happening. This is going to make you really good. And you're in a really excellent place. All your dreams are coming true. And it's because you worked because you worked for it. That's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. I always say thank you for the support. Let's get your final message here and see what your spirit guides want to close us off with. Inspiration. When you recover or discover something that nourishes your soul and brings joy, care enough about yourself to make room for it in your life. Take a time out today and treat yourself to an energetic pick-me-up. Sad, that's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.